Hello everyone, my name is Bear33 and welcome to Age of Empires HD. Uh, we're gonna continue our campaign with the Origin Alliance, the William Wallace campaign, and let's start. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling, so we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct a market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Alright, let's see. Capture three relics and garrison them in your monastery. Okay. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. Situation's starting to look up. Oh, did you know that there are three different modes for the minimap in the lower right corner of the screen? Hmm? You can show only military units or only resources and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the minimap. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic, and the English have captured a third. Good! You have a relic! Protect the relic in the monastery by right clicking the monastery. Yeah, doing. You can uh, retrieve yeah. a relic by clicking a monk and right clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Perfect. You now have one relic garrisoned. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. Yes, they do. And that's about it. So I just only have to, yeah, catch up for relics. Okay. Now let's you go there and you go there. Farms are a good source of food once you've exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. A little bit more food from a farm, click a villager, then right click a farm. Okay. You have a market. Maybe that. Yeah. The market can create trade carts to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Click the market, yeah, yes, yes, then click goes. sell food for gold. Yeah. Okay, what is this? This is the English. Alright, so I found them. Now I have to find my allies. Maybe here? I have no idea where they are. Please be there. So, um, we got a little bit of army here. Hello. So well, that's that army, like few troops. You've reached your allies. Oh, that's your ally. Go inside and see how his city's doing. Your okay. allies' gate will open automatically for you. Welcome. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow flyer, can uh, let's send our monk the over enemy. there. You can also it's trade with a long allies. time. Uh, to trade, you'll need to build a market. It's there. Let's check what he has here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need more houses. Um, where are those two guys? Are there. Okay, so a couple of houses. I have... How much? Yeah, only two. Sad face. Uh, please lumber faster. Maybe a couple of more people. I need the houses again. Ah oh, man. Circle of life. Not here. But yeah, that's the allies. And uh, yeah, that's the monk coming. Please get the relic. So you already been there. So okay, we go here. Um, and like, let's get over here. 
got one house. Two houses, okay. And how's my thread cards? Yes, coming up. Did you pick it up? Not yet. You slow monk, you come on. If you it click the trade card on your allies market, you can make extra gold. Your trade card will automatically make trips between your and your allies markets. Yeah, I know that. Um, Ooh, there. Yeah, I'm building villagers there. So, um, blacksmith. Let's, let's get another blacksmith, shall we? Right next to the door. There's another trade card. Go right on in. Bring me some gold. And after that we're gonna build another barracks and another archery range. And I don't need another stable. Maybe a seas work. Maybe. Well, we're definitely getting that one. And we're getting that one. We got enough food. Stone, not so much, but... Yeah. Get one relic. The Wait, English are attacking our town. Can you attribute any spare food or gold to us? Oh. Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town and let's drive the English out. To tribute your ally, click the diplomacy button in the upper right oh, corner of your screen. Here. Give your ally some food and gold, but don't give him everything you own. Food and gold? Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they're created by using gather points. No, I'm not. You have two relics garrisoned. Bring back one more and you'll be victorious! To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, the way point, it says barracks. And click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. Archery, so skirmishers. A lot of skirmishers. And... Okay. I don't have enough food. Please work faster. I only have that much. I have any more houses, oh, one house, two house, we have, we have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering their relic. Yeah, give me the relic. You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your no, civilization. I will not do it. I already know it. If you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. Thank you. It's gonna come handy right now. Stop tagging my trade card! God! Damn it! Not gonna send you anymore. Stay here. Need my another one. Ah, oh, God! Serious? Like five of those. Uh, men of arms. Young skirmishers coming up. Um, stable. I only have scout cavalry, so I need to advance an age. Do I have enough? 800? No, no, no. Not even close. Let's go, there we have. Crossbow man, I got skirmishers to take them out. Yeah, I can deal with them. Let's go take care of the English little force. Got two monasteries, yeah, I think 
is coming fine and dandy. That's my. Yeah, I need a... another archery range. We're here, like control one. What is that knight? Please, I'm gonna down fast. One. And that's the English god. Great. Now let's get our trade guards. Cards. No trade cards going. English. Do you speak it? Yes, please. And another barracks. The Edix, as he says. Um, I don't think... Uh, yeah. Three villagers and three farms. Yes, heal, please. Um, the archers and cavalry, but... It doesn't apply on skirmishes. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure if someone can correct me, please do so. Okay, and I got another parrot coming up. Maybe they have few knights. So, like, a couple of skirmishers, a couple of men at arms, build a few more houses. I don't know what's the population limit here. Um, a few of those archers and a few of those skirmishers more. Yeah, I can get those archers things. Upgrades. Up things. Upgrades. Oh, yeah, you're up. Get there. And that's the that's the closest, okay. Two more. Yeah, they got it, okay. Um, yeah, I got the gold, but not the food. Why are you not working? Work! Work, woman! Yeah, they're production. Good, 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 good. I want to get to the castle age so I get upgrades on my skirmishers. Pikemen? Other pikemen. No, spearmen. And. Archers, yes. It would be nice. Tributes. I mean, tributes. I, I, I don't get the tributes. And uh, someone can tell me, right? Is it tribute like to the dip diplomacy thing or is it the trade cards? I'm not sure. But I think this is the first part of the episode, so I cut here and we'll be right.